Good evening and welcome to the Truth Report. I'm Barry Newsbaum. We have a very special guest today. We have Phil Haney with us. You might recognize Phil as one of the founding members of Homeland Security here in the United States. He's a 35-year member of law enforcement with an expertise in Middle Eastern and terror policy. And we are going to talk about the breaking news here in the United States today, all about John Bolton leaving the White House and its implications on American policy. But before we get started, I want to make sure you remember that you can text TRUTH, the word is TRUTH, to 88202 to subscribe to our mailing list and you will never miss an exciting episode and future episodes, videos, articles will come directly to your phone simply by sending truth to 88202. So Phil, welcome aboard. It's great to have you today. Great. Thank you so much. So let's kick it off with what's happened. The big news, as we've been talking, Phil, John Bolton was fired slash resigned, depending on whose story you believe, by President Trump. Uh, he is gone as National Security Advisor. There's probably two or three stories out in the press as to why. Uh, they are in no certain order of priority. Either A, Trump wanted to make nice with Iran and talked about lessening the sanctions that were put in place by Trump to cause either major policy changes within Iran or maybe even regime change, although that was denied. And the rumor is he wanted them lessened and Bolton pushed back. Uh, the second rumor out there is possibly uh, leaks from policy from inside the Oval Office coming through Bolton. And the third rumor, which you just talked about, uh, Phil, is that possibly Bolton was making uh, public statements about what policy was when in reality it wasn't President Trump's policy, it was John Bolton's policy, and in presidential politics, you just don't do that. Do you have any favorite rumors of the three? Well, I'll start with uh, the second one and would suggest that the leaks weren't paper leaks, document leaks, they were these kind of leaks, conversational leaks. In the, uh, the meetings and the after hours conversations around Washington, D.C., having spent a lot of time there, several tours of duty with lots of T-shirts that say, been there, done that. You know, I, I have a pretty good feel for the way things are done, the way business is done in D.C. And the other impression I got immediately was symbolized by the by the disconnect in communication or the different versions of what actually happened i'm talking we have a real-time event a person gets dismissed from the white house one says i was fired or i i resigned and the other says he was fired even in an immediate moment there was a disconnect in communication and from the outside i'm sure everybody was wondering well which one was it that shows you that's what we have here is a failure to communicate. So that would be my impression that, and then the third one you said was, in terms of conversations in the media or in, or in semi-private settings, if John Bolton didn't agree with the president, he might say something like, uh, well, that's not U.S. policy. Well, what exactly is U.S. policy? It's essentially what President Trump sees it to be and through the constitutional process is able, with our checks and balances form of government, to implement that policy. Trump has a fundamental value uh, on loyalty and uh, being a team player. And if you don't see those values, you're going to end up clashing with him. And we've seen it with other individuals, haven't we? He, he has the highest level of esteem, not on how necessarily intelligent or articulate you might be, which you might be very, 
but it has to do with loyalty and being a team player. And, and that's a quality that is often lacking among the people that live inside the Beltway. Thanks, Phil. Uh, thanks for joining us today on the Truth Report. You can always go to our website, americantruthproject.org. You can find it by just typing in findberry.com. That takes you right to the website where you can sign up so you never miss an exciting episode. And don't forget, text TRUTH to 88202. 88202 gets you on our mailing list. And this time, you'll get all of our stuff for free right in your phone every single day without having to do anything more to do. Again, thanks for joining us. I'm very useful.